Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about something called the new trade-up theory. Now, uh, this trade-up theory is uh, pretty interesting, and I actually really think it's a, it's a good opportunity for a lot of people to make profit without, you know, losing too much. Now, also, I wanted to mention that I was actually planning to do a video on 50-50 trade-ups today. Basically, trade-ups where it's like you have one 50-50 option to make a lot of money or one to lose a lot of money. Stuff like the Op Asimov or the Chameleon. And basically, I decided instead to just modify this video and instead make it about this kind of trade-up theory that I've been looking at for a little while now, and that it's definitely, you know, a viable trade-up opportunity for a lot of people. So, uh, guys, with that being said, I wanted to also thank you guys for all the support I've been getting recently. We're getting very close to 50 subscribers, so make sure you hit that subscription button and uh, watch more content on my channel as it comes out. I will be uploading a lot more videos uh, every day that I, you know, don't have work and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for the support, and let's get straight into this video about the new trade-up theory. Okay, so what exactly is the new trade-up theory that I'm talking about? Well, basically, it's a trade-up theory where you're trying to make money while also losing the least amount of money as possible. Now, the only way you can do this is by trade-ups to covert skins. There's a very small amount of ones where you can do it with classified skins, um, and lower tier skins even, There's, but they're very, very rare, and they're not as much profit, and they're not as you know lucrative as doing a covert trade-up. So keep in mind, this is a covert trade-up uh, that, you, that you're going to be doing. And that means that a lot of these are going to be pretty expensive, uh, about $30 minimum, roughly. So yeah, they're fairly expensive trade-ups, just keep that in mind. Basically, the way this works is you get five skins that are from a collection that gives you a guaranteed nice trade-up. Uh, for example, you have the Op Neo Noir and the AK-47 Asimov from the Danger Zone collection. Those are both, you know, fairly nice things to get from a trade-up. One of them is break-even, and the other one is a tiny bit of profit. So basically, you get five skins from that collection that are equal to the price of five skins from a 50-50 collection. So, for example, the M4A4 Emperor and the and the 57 Angry Mob. So basically what's going to happen when you do this entire trade-up is five of those skins are going to give you a 50-50 for the AK-47 Asimov or for the Op Neonor. So basically that is going to be a 50-50 for that from five skins, and then the other uh, five skins are going to be for the M44 Emperor or the 57 Angry Mop. So you're going to have a 25% chance to get the M44 Emperor, a 25% chance to get the Angry Mob, a 25% chance to get the AK Asimov, and a 25% chance to get the Op Neonor. So if you land in that 50% range of the Asimov or the Neonor, you're going to end up either breaking even or you're going to make a little bit of money. Otherwise, if you land in the other 50% range, you have a 25% chance to lose a bunch of money and a 25% chance to make a bunch of money. So you can kind of see how this works. It's a, it's fairly good because it kind of minimizes the amount of loss that you can take and maximizes the amount of profit that you can make from these trade ups. Now, obviously, you can land in the 25% zone, and that's where you basically just rip your money. Or you can land in a zone where you can just buy back the other skins and then go again. Uh, or you land in the zone where you just make a bunch of money off the bat. And that's it's basically a four-way split on 25% odds, which is you know fairly decent in terms of trade-ups. So there's not a lot of trade-ups that have higher profit margins than that, or lower risk than that. So it's a fairly decent thing to do, uh, basically. You want to do the, kind of the 50-50 splits. You want to do like five skins from one collection and five skins from the other. Obviously, you can do like three skins from one and seven from another. But basically, you want to try and maximize your chances of not losing money, basically. And these trade-ups, uh, the, the main way to make them work is you want to look for skins that are going to be equal in price when you split them between the collections. So take, for example, if you're doing like the... Uh, the one I just mentioned. You're going to want five of those skins to be like $3, and then the other five to be also about $3, which actually works. I think the uh, R8 Revolver Skull Crusher is about $3.03 or something like that. And the skins for the AK-47 Asimov and the Op Neonor are about $4.50 in minimal wear condition if you're trying to do float manipulation with this. And obviously if you use bit skins for that, you can actually get them at a pretty constant price of 3 or even less than $3. So it ends up being about a $25 to $30 trade-up uh, input cost, and it ends up being a up to like a $90 output cost if you get the, the right M4A4 Emperor. And uh, basically that's why this trade-up is so good. You can minimize the amount of loss that you're taking and maximize the amount of profit that you're making, and that's kind of what you want to do with any trade-up. So that is basically the general theory of it, and now I'm going to show you guys how this trade-up works in practice. And I also wanted to mention one more quick thing before we continue. 
when I mentioned how you can decrease the amount of skins that you're using for the other side of the trade up, so when I said that you can use like three skins and then seven skins of the other one, so the way that that works is you want to make sure that the seven skins that you're using are from the guaranteed break even or profit uh, side of the thing. So you're going to want uh, seven skins from the AK-47 Asimov and Op Neonor trade up, so the Danger Zone collection. And then you're going to want three skins from the uh, M4A4 Emperor or the 57 Angry Mob trade up. And what that's going to do is it's going to minimize the chance for you to actually get the Angry Mob, but it's also going to minimize the chance for you to get the M4A4 Emperor. I believe it's around like a 12% chance or something along those lines uh, to get each of those. So you end up with a 12% chance to lose money and a 70, almost actually up to like an 80% chance to make a lot of money. So that's also something that you can do. The only problem with that is you will have a much lower chance to get the Emperor, which is the most desirable outcome. Also, the final thing that I wanted to mention is how you can also use float manipulation to really increase your odds of getting a really good skin in this case. Uh, so for example, if you did the 50-50 where it's 5 skins from one collection and 5 skins from the other collection, and then you used 5 minimal wares from one collection and then 5 field tested from the other collection, you can actually end up with a minimal wear outcome instead of a field tested outcome, uh, which if you, you know, use a float calculator, you can really figure out if that's actually going to, you know, you can figure out if that's actually going to happen if you have the correct floats. Uh, I made a video, by the way, actually looking at a float calculator on CSGO Exchange uh, on a trade-up simulator. So if you guys want to go check out that video, it gives you a nice little tutorial on how to use one of those things and kind of theorycraft uh, how the most you know possible lucrative trade-up is going to be. So to explain that a little bit more simply, basically if you take five minimal wear skins from the Danger Zone collection and then you take f uh, five field tested skins from the Prisma collection, the one for the Emperor, the 5-7 Angry Mob, then you'll end up with a minimal wear emperor if you get the floats correct, even though you're putting in field tested skins from the Prisma collection. So you can actually kind of manipulate around the floats uh, using this trade up theory as well, while still keeping the price of the inputs pretty low, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly good way to do things. Now, also, I wanted to mention that there is actually multiple collections that are guaranteed break even or make profit. And uh, those include, for example, the uh, AK-47 Aquamarine Revenge or the Op Hyperbeast trade-up. That one is generally the same price of input costs and also has a guaranteed profit trade-up, basically. Uh, although I know the AK-47 Aquamarine Revenge is kind of lowering in price recently, so it might not be the best one to go for. I definitely think the best one to go for right now is the Danger Zone collection for your other 50%. But uh, other than that, there, there are a few that you can look at that can give you a guaranteed win on the trade-up. So guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Make sure you leave a like on it if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment telling me what you thought of the video, if I can improve anything. Also, leave a comment telling me any ideas you might have for future videos so I can help you out there, or leave any questions below that I can potentially answer for you and make sure that you're up to speed on what I'm talking about in this video. Also, consider subscribing because you can get more content straight to your subscription box, and you'll never miss a video update in the future. So you'll always be able to get those trade-ups before they increase in value if I find some random one that is a guaranteed profit like that. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'm signing out. Peace.